part of the demo, we will show how we have incorporated several of the quantitative analysis for our analysts with the AM Diligence GPT platform. As you know, quantitative analysis is not the strongest suit for generative AI technologies. However, for us, it's the most critical part of our diligence. We need to analyze trends, identify anomalies, and benchmark a company against its competitors. We need to trust the information that the platform is providing us, and we need to generate not just the analysis, but the detailed story behind the numbers. So let me show you three of the most commonly used features by our analysts. One is trend analysis. Second, we will walk you through anomaly detection, and third, benchmarking. So with trend analysis, we can upload, you can upload a different Excel with the cost trends and generate all different kind of analysis and charts and graphs. And this is not the most exciting part because you can do this with Power BI Excel. The real power of the tool comes from generating the commentary and, and driving description of why something went up or down and the story behind cost trends. So as you can see, the system is looking at what happened with the ABTA margin and providing very specific information that we have trained it to identify in a certain, in our specific style. And then it looks at all of the different components of EBTA and providing very specific reason as to why the labor cost went up. It went up because of the wage increase, 5% wage hike across all level, training programs, energy prices, as well as the maintenance. It also describes why the material cost went down because of sourcing, waste reduction, 2% cost saving, and so forth. So as you can see, it's summarizing not just the numbers, but there's very specific reasons why something uh, went up or down. Second, let me show you our anomaly detection features. So in this case, I will upload a trial balance, which has about 36 months of information, and we can use the platform to identify anomalies based on certain thresholds uh, related to materiality or, or revenue comparisons. And the tool can identify major anomalies, which it's highlighting in red, as well as other anomalies, which may not look very material in the context of, of the numbers, but are something that we could look at. It summarizes the details of these anomalies for us to follow with the company, and also will generate an analysis which describes to the extent information is available, the reasons for this anomaly. Third, let me show you our benchmarking feature. We provide two types of benchmarking. This is our headcount functional benchmarking based on headcount cost. The tool can summarize the cost based on a headcount file, the cost of finance, the back office GNA, finance, HR, IT, and look at the number of FTEs, IT function cost, FTE per billion uh, dollar revenue, and the labor cost, and compare that with functional with other functional benchmarks that, that are industry standard. Next up, we will show you uh, financial benchmarking. The platform can retrieve basic information and cost information and enables the users to change these numbers if needed and select peers based on certain parameters. In this case, we're based on revenues as well as based on industry. So I can choose different industries and look at different peers and then choose. It's going to give me a list of peers from which I can choose companies that make sense to compare with and generate an analysis against these peers. The different cost structures of competitors and peers, COGS, SCNA, EBTA, and EBIT margin against the company's numbers. Additional analysis that we can perform is the reasons why we think the company may be lagging in benchmarks and what can be done to improve the benchmark to the extent that information is available in the documents here, as well as based on our knowledge base and pattern recognition programming. We continue to follow new developments in generative AI technologies very closely, especially on the analysis and data analysis side, and start experimenting with them as soon as they become available. We've already started incorporating assistance APIs and code interpreter API from OpenAI into our code. And as if some of you may know, these features are launched just last week. So this concludes our demo for this part of the platform.